Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I set up a render for presenting my props and 3D assets in Blender. This is a very important step and if overlooked can put your hours of hard work to waste. I'll be showing you camera settings, lighting, rendering settings and post processing. This will be a bit different from some of my other videos and is not a complete tutorial. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to start by opening up a new scene. I'm going to get rid of this default cube and append a earlier model that I've made. So first I'd like to set up my camera. So I'm going to go into it and line it up. The resolution. So I like to, for this particular object, um, it'll fit quite nicely into a square. So I'm going to go for 2048 by 2048. Oh, uh, there we go. I don't know what was happening there. Um, That should be nice. Now, I don't, I'm not happy with the way it's facing because I'm kind of hiding this little bit over there, which has some extra detail. I'm going to rotate it ooh, 90 degrees like so. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, now, if we were to just render this out like it is, like with all the default lighting, like that looks horrible. Like, it looks absolutely awful. Another thing is it's using EV, so let's change it to cycles. And I'm going to, and if we render that out, it'll look a little bit better. But it's, 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 it's one of those things, whereas, hey, the textures might look am amazing or whatever, or your model might look great, but it's being let down by the lighting and the scene itself. So we, we have to fix that. Another thing is, I don't know why it's, Oh wait, this this has a, a keyframes. So that's why I'm gonna delete all the keyframes there because I rendered it out again. And yeah, so before we we start, let's get some optimization down so that we can quickly preview. So I'm gonna change my performance in perfor performance mode to 256. 256 because I'm using a GPU. If you're using a CPU, I think 64 by 64 is fine. Um, film. Uh, I'm going to leave that how it is. But I'm going to change the background to a dark shade of grey. Not quite black because black doesn't really exist in real life, like perfect black. So I don't really want that in my shadows. And this, this, like, this already is looking a bit better but the lighting is still really sad. So if I just change this to slot two and let's, let's figure out this lighting. Okay. So yeah, so let's, let's start by fixing up lighting because at the moment it's not going so well. So I'm going to delete the, the default point lamp that it, that it gives you and I'm going to add in a area light. Now for this particular prop, uh, what will work really well, in my opinion, is a three-point style lighting setup, just to just to get a basic. So, I'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees and get a sort of a a side light happening to pick up on some of that uh, the detail in the metal. So, something like that. I'm gonna change the strength to maybe 30. Uh, let's actually let's go to 45 and see this is already looking better because we once again we have some of that texture detail and there's actually some contrast so I'm going to move this back a bit you know what I'm going to I'm going to place put that right there and I think that'll that'll be our first light so that looks nice uh I'm going to shift D duplicate it and this one is going to be a backlight or a rim. I don't know. Let's make this one a rim. Uh, a back, sorry, a backlight. So I'm going to rotate it and make it a bit less of an angle. Now if we hide it, you can see the difference that's making. It's adding a bit more sort of fill to this area. And then finally, we're going to add a bit of a, f uh, yeah, a fill light to these really dark shadows here. 
And we're going to shift D once again. Move on the Y axis, rotate it 100 degrees. And because this is fill, now it's all of a sudden super flat. So I'm going to change this to maybe a strength of 20. Scale it up a little bit. Let's just re rotate that. Something funky has happened with the rotation, but that doesn't matter. And that's looking that's looking a bit better, but we still have this area under here, which is not getting any light and it's really dark. And to fix that, we're going to duplicate this, move it down, rotate it 90 degrees, and push it up a little bit. So that has added a little bit of light into this area, but it's still not enough in my opinion. So we can move a bit closer. Maybe make it a bit uh, narrower and increase the strength to maybe not 60. That's way too much. 35. I'm not liking how that's looking with the hotspot. Bit of a hotspot there. So I'm going to just hide things. And oh, that's coming from this brand new light we made. So to fix that, let's make it a bit bigger and move it a bit further away. Maybe move it down a bit. Maybe even rotate it. Okay, that's looking a bit, a bit better. Now, I'm going to reduce the strength of this light here to 15 because I don't like how bright it is. And I'm also going to make it narrower. And I'm liking how this is looking. So I'm going to render it out and see what it, see what it looks like against that background. It's getting there. It's not perfect, but it's it's definitely getting there. It's much better than what we had. In, oh, it's gone, apparently. It's much better than what we had before. Let's check this is recording. Now, let's let's pick this part. Let's see what, what we can prove on here. I don't like the flatness that it looks around here. It looks a bit flat to me. Now, we can either fix that in post, or we can fix it now. So I'm going to try and fix it now. Um, the second thing that's coming out to me is I feel like it needs something around here, maybe like a rim or, but let's, let's see. So let's scale this down. Let's just reset the rotation, let's rotate it. I'm going to move it down on the Z, scale it. Make that more of a little bit of a rim, sort of. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Oh, sorry. I'm going to duplicate it. And rotate it. And instead of it being there, we're going to put it around here and change it to maybe 20. That might be a little bit... Not a, you know, it might not be enough, so I might have to scale it again, move it down again, and change it to, I don't know, 10. That's a bit much. 5. That might be okay. That could work. And let's render it out. That's looking better. That's, I, I like this. Um... Material-wise, we're not going to focus on that. I think this is still a little bit dark. Because it's a product render. Or we're, it's a prop render. We don't want it to be so grungy looking. So I'm going to make that a bit wider and taller. Increase the strength. To be more of a fill. Bit of a fill in that area. Heck, it might even could work if we uh. Oops, sorry. Could work if we point it down. No. Like that maybe. Or I think pointing it up is going to be the best best choice there. So. 
Yeah. That's looking a bit better. I think... I think I want it to come from the back, but I can't... can't really decide, so I'm going to just move it. Rotate it. Yeah, I think that's that's looking a little bit better. Sorry. Maybe once again. Okay, let's render that. See how it looks. It's a little bit flat in this area, but I don't I'm not too concerned. Maybe we could to fix that we can change the how much this is working, so 30. Uh, that might be a little bit better. 30. That's... Yeah, I think that's... I think that's nice. And then... Hide it, see how it looks. No. This light is doing a lot of the work here, so let's pop it down to 30. Oh, 35 maybe. And I think that's, that's starting to look that's starting to look good. Now we have a lot of lights happening. Like this is this is yeah, a bit crazy, but that's that's fine. You can have that. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna scale this up. I'm gonna scale it on the Z. Maybe make this 120. That might be a bit much, but let's render it and see. <coughs> um, hmm. I can make a change to this part down here. So, I'm rendering it out. I'm looking what I want to change. And for now, it's this part that I'm not happy with. But I'm going to leave that for now and work on this room. It's a little bit too dim. So, I'm going to change that by... Grabbing this and just making it 20. Maybe I want to scale it down a bit so it's a bit, a bit harsher. And then this one here is really working off this one. So I might make this 10. Well, that might be a bit much, but I might make it five and then scale it down like that. I'm happy with I'm happy with how this is looking. I'm gonna bump this up a bit to maybe a hundred and render it out f twelve. <coughs> and I think this is this looks fine. This looks fine for a render for me. This is looking better than it did, so I'm gonna save this out. Real quick while I'm at it, I'm going to save this project file. And let's have a look. Hey, right, this is looking good. This looks this this is looking good for me. So the next step is post processing. Now, this will take a lot of time off your finessing when you do lighting. You'll get faster and faster at lighting, but if you want to push it to the next level, you always want to add a level of press processing. So you can actually do this in Blender in the compositing tab, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be using Lightroom. Um, okay, so I've put, put the image in uh, Lightroom here, and the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bump up the exposure. Right, I'm just, just, just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to boost the contrast. And then the third thing is we're going to come all the way down here, or all the way down here. I'm going to go to effects and add a vignette. Now, I'm going to put this at neg 55 because I think that's a good, that, that works, you know. And that's made some changes to the contrast levels and I want them to be a little bit lower. And now, second thing I'm going to do in effects is I'm going to add some grain. And now, what this simulates is like the, the photo effect, right? All, all photos have 
sorry, the photo effect, the, you know, adds a bit of realism. When you think of it, all photos taken on a camera have a bit of grain or a bit of noise. So maybe seven might work. Um, yeah, I think seven looks good. Just puts a bit of texture into the background. Um, uh, now, like all these sliders here do a different thing. Like we can crank the clarity, right? And that actually looks half decent because what's that? What that's doing is getting rid of a bit of the um, the cloudiness by increasing the light levels. So I'm I'm gonna actually change the clarity. I'm gonna I I, I quite like that. Maybe 40, 40 works, which is quite a bit, but that's nice. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is uh, see this sort of loss of detail because it's almost overexposed. I mean, it's not, but it's it's very, very flat, right? Um, we can actually fix that in Lightroom, which we, we will. So what I'm going to do is in color, I'm going to go to this color, which is the orange, and I'm going to turn down the luminance. And what, what this has done is it's brought a lot of the detail back into this little part of the model here Ooh. and um, before I continue there is a bit of noise so there is the noise here but for the sake of this render I just uh, I think I put the sample count on a hundred and well, actually, actually it's just a default so um, 128 which you definitely want to turn up if you're doing a final render and that's that's about it that's everything I do for post-processing wise on my props and I'm gonna put up a, I'm gonna put up a final version here. I might look a bit different because OBS has been cranking my black levels. Anyway, I I hope you enjoyed this style of video. It's a bit different from what I I normally do, and I hope to do more of them in the future. Let me know your thoughts down below, and as always, my socials are in the description. And feel free to subscribe. Thank you.